Uh, KJ, let's uh, look at the Super Bowl odds. We've got Buffalo uh, plus 375 to win, Kansas City plus 450, the Eagles 5 to 1, and the Cowboys 7 to 1. Do these odds surprise you? I feel like Buffalo kind of gets more credit sometimes than they deserve. Am I crazy for thinking that? Uh, no, because they're in the AFC, right? So most people believe that the AFC comes down to either the Bills or the Chiefs. I think the interesting story is in the NFC where the Eagles are the assumption, but I've been, I, I, I hate to say it, it, it even pains my tongue about to come out of my mouth. Watch out for the Cowboys. Their number keeps dropping. At one point, it was 1,100. Then it dropped to 900. Now it is down to what? Uh, 275? Uh, 275 to win the That's the to win the, win the NFC. Right. And, yeah. and, to, and 700 to win the Super Bowl. Right? Well, that's even dropped even now. It's down to 650. So here – and here's my thinking why the Cowboys are such a, a dangerous team and how it shakes out really quick is the Cowboys, if they, if they don't surpass the Eagles, that's no problem. They would be the four seed playing against – they'd be the five seed playing the four seed Tampa. Then if Tampa, everything falls into place the way, then they would get a third look at the Eagles on the road in cold weather, and you don't know if Jalen Hurts has proven himself. If they beat them on the road, then they're possibly looking at maybe San Francisco or the Vikings, and we've seen what they've done to the Vikings. And you're talking about a San Francisco team that doesn't have Jimmy Garoppolo. So all of a sudden, the, the, the Cowboys go from being a wild card team to now suddenly being a favorite in an NFC championship game, potentially. So that's why I say watch out for the Cowboys as they move, just because being so good at a five seed and the four seed being the Bucks and not as dominant. I think that's an excellent point. And I think part of betting is wading through your preconceived notions and putting them to the wayside. Because for me, it's really get, it's really tough to get past my initial thought of, well, the Cowboys are terrible in the playoffs. Like, I don't want to bet on the Cowboys in the postseason. They are such a huge disappointment that I don't know if it's Mike McCarthy. I don't know what it is. But it's hard for me to want to trust them in the postseason. But I think the better bet, as opposed to winning the Super Bowl, I think they can win the NFC. I don't know if they can go head-to-head with some of the teams in the AFC, but looking down the NFC, they're just not that many good teams, right? It's the Eagles, it's the Cowboys, it's the Niners, who also now have a very young quarterback in Brock Purdy as opposed to Jimmy Garoppolo. But other than that, like who else? The Vikings? Not really. It just seems like the NFC is a smaller field and it's more wide open than the AFC.